Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the remove, delete one, and delete many methods. Now what these methods allow us to do is delete documents from a given collection. So to get started let's execute our Mongo shell. So I'm just going to type Mongo show DBs, use school, show collections, db.students.find.pretty. And now we have our database. So let's actually perform a query before we actually start deleting stuff. So I want to find all the students within grade 10. So let's do that real quick. And you can see we have a couple of students in grade 10. So now let's remove one of these documents using the remove method. So I'm going to say db.students.remove and the first argument is going to be the query, what criteria of a student that we're looking for. So I'm just going to say student must be in grade 10. And the second argument is going to be a flag. And this flag is going to indicate whether you want to delete all the students that match this criteria or you only want to delete one student that matches this criteria. So I'm just going to say true, and this is going to say that we only want to delete one student. And if I was to hit enter, you can see that we get number removed and it says one. But now watch this. If I was to go here and change this to false. Now I don't have to pass in false because by default, it's already set to false. So if I was to remove this and hit enter, you can see that nine documents have been removed from our students collection. So now if I query again for all the students in grade 10, you will see that there's no documents being returned. And that's because we just deleted all the students who happen to be in grade 10. So now let's move on to the delete one method. So let's actually query for something else. So and we already got rid of all the students in grade 10. So let's query for students who are in grade 11. And we have one, two. So we have two students in grade 11. So let's actually delete one of them. And one of the things that we can use is called the delete one method. So I could say db.students.delete one. And then within here, we're gonna pass in our query and this time I want to delete a specific student. So let's say I want to delete Leonard, for example. So what I'm going to do is copy this object ID, which is just a primary key essentially. And we're going to search by ID. Now this is going to guarantee that we delete the right student. So this is going to guarantee that we delete Leonard, for example. And now if I was to hit enter, you can see that it's been acknowledged and the delete count is equal to one. So now if I query for students in grade 11, you can see that Leonard has been removed. Now you usually would use the delete one method with the ID field and that's because the ID field is unique. So that means if you're sure that you want to delete a specific document, you delete it by using the ID field. Next, let's talk about the delete many method. So I want to query for something else instead of grade 11 because we only have one student. So let's query for students who are in grade 12. Hit enter. You can see we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have at least four students, probably more in 12th grade. So now what I can do is I can say db.students.delete many and we're going to pass in our query grade 12 and now if i hit enter every single student in grade 12 is going to be deleted so every document that matches this query is going to be deleted so now if i hit enter you can see that this has been acknowledged and the deleted count is four so now if i query for students in grade 12, hit enter. You can see that all students in grade 12 have been deleted from our students collection. 
So that's pretty much the ins and outs of how you can use the remove method, the delete one method, and the delete many method to remove documents from your collection.